Welcome to the second session of DOF's Future Digital Dentistry Show. I'm your host, Crystal. The second session will be a live demo of the DOF products that we mentioned in our first session. Dr. Wu will show us how to use Snap, the face scanner, as well as Freedom, the 3D model scanner. He'll also show us how to design using ExoCAD. Now let's begin right now. Please welcome Dr. Wu. Hello everyone again. I'm going to start with introduction of the face scanner Snap. Snap is a device that is used in dental clinic for scanning face and face and immediately actualizing 3D data. Snap is connected with a tablet PC to promptly scan a patient face, acquire highly accurate 3D data, connect the Snap to the USB port and activate the face scan application. Take up the glasses before the scan, tie the hair of the patient up the e around the ear and the forehead to entirely uh, face could be scanned as much as possible. You will start in the order of the menu on the right side. The first step is a scanning of smile that is big enough to see the teeth when the position of the pupil line is aligned with the square area. The scanning button is activated in red and scan the face as follows. Start from the center, move the right back to the center and move the left. It is not recommended to repeat scanning because it will have a rather heavy fire size and the data will not be clear. The next step is scanning the target with the upper byte fixed. When the target is scanned at the appropriate location, it will be automatically complete. Create a new folder and save the scan data with the patient name. If you use the same Wi-Fi as your CAD PC, you can share the data by creating share folder. So I tried this myself and scanning the face using Snap is extremely easy and 3D face data is illustrated within moments. So what's the next step, Dr. Wu? I'm guessing you use the Freedom Scanner. I have used many types of the model scanner. Perhaps the most comfortable part of this scanner is uh, it can scan without fixing a model. Fixing the model to scan them is really stressful because a small movement affects the scan data much and it makes the data be useless. First, I will fill out an order form for myself in this case. My teeth don't have anything to restore, so I will set it up as a provisional restoration. First, scan the upper jaw and lower jaw, and then scan the occlusal relationship again. It is not necessary to fix the model with wax or blue tag when scanning. Scan the target bite. There is a special plate to fix the target bite for easier use. Root the face scan data, the upper jaw position, and face scan data align. Now remove the inner part of the lip from the face scan data using editing tool. You can get a clean lip look just like you see here. Click the program after saving. So I've been following so far with what Dr. Wu has been saying. What's the next step? What do you do with all this face scan data? Let's load the, the upper jaw and the antagonist is a low jaw. We already scan this data. And then we enter the export mode and tool menu and select it add remove mesh and then we also select face scan here and load yeah very easy yeah we can see the bifurcated line and camper plane frank horizontal plane and mid line and rim line this information is very useful for the anterior teeth designing. Uh, central teeth also decided margin. Apply and next. Select margin. Apply, next. Apply, next. I'm already uh, selected my teeth is a provisional restoration, so we can control the the shape of of teeth with the paste 
information and midline and horizontal line, pupillary line. So you can also shorten the length of the teeth as well, right? Yeah, right. And you could also make the space between the teeth bigger or larger, the margins bigger or larger with a few clicks. Yeah, all, the, all of the uh, teeth is uh, concerned with, with uh, relation with the uh, face. So the patient can look at this design, decide what they want, decide how long of a teeth they want, how big of a margin they want before they ask their doctor to have the final product. Yeah, right. So we can communicate it with the dentist and patient very easily. And very the patients useful. can t tell you what kind of preference they want rather than having the final product and having it be a surprise. Yeah, right. They right. have that result on their phones. Right. Yeah, faith can is very useful. So when you design the, the anterior teeth, um, it is very easy to find the axis in the, the anterior teeth with the faith information. Thank you, Dr. Wu. I'm actually quite impressed and surprised by the face scan and everything you can do with it. Patients' preferences can be included and discussed immediately, whether it's the tooth length or the margin. Unfortunately, we're out of time for this session, but join us again for our next session. Our next session will be a clinical case study called How to Make Beautiful Teeth with ExoCAD.